Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and 3M. We've been cruise fans ever since it first joined the Chevrolet lineup for 2011. But as much as we liked it, we still wondered what Chevy would do to keep it fresh against an onslaught of new small car choices. Turns out one answer is a turbo diesel. Who would have thought that Chevrolet would join Volkswagen as the only two brands to offer diesel engines in the compact economy car class? Now that's fresh. When we first heard that Chevrolet would be offering a diesel engine in the 2014 Chevrolet Cruze, we were pretty pumped, then a little nervous. Would they be able to pull this off? And are there still a lot of people around with sour memories of the 80s GM diesels? Turns out we needn't have worried, as the turbo diesel Cruze is a true modern clean diesel in every sense of the words. This twin cam 2 liter comes straight from GM Europe. Horsepower is 151 and torque comes in at a very vigorous 264 pound-feet. Despite a fair amount of noise outside the car at startup, inside there's little indication that there's a diesel clattering away under the hood. You're quickly reminded when you step on the gas, however, as you can certainly feel the abundance of torque. And unlike some diesels, it continues to feel very spirited right up to cruising speed. Moreover, the diesel in no way detracts from what was already one of the quietest and well-composed cars in the compact class. One thing we were reminded of is the cruise's down-low driving position. For our taller drivers, there wasn't enough adjustment to the steering wheel, and by the time they got everything lined up, they were sitting very low. But that's about our only ergonomic complaint. The Cruise Diesel's natural competitor is obviously the Volkswagen Jetta TDI, and to be frank, this small Chevy is not as sporty or upscale feeling as the Jetta. That shows up most when you push fairly hard, like through our slalom. There was plenty of oversteer, and you can easily feel the additional front bias of the diesel's weight. However, off the line, all that torque propelled us to 60 and a respectable 8.8 .8 seconds and to the end of the quarter mile in 16.8 seconds with a speed of 81 miles per hour. Still, we found brakes to be a bit below average as our stops from 60 averaged 139 feet accompanied by an unsettling back end. A big positive for the cruise is its very roomy, airy interior with well above class average materials and trim quality. The front seat cushions are very comfortable for a compact. Rear seats are not quite as comfy as legroom is short of the Jetta, as is trunk space. Although 13.3 cubic feet still rates good. There's also a bit less than the standard cruise due to the add blue tank mounted in the trunk. The diesel comes well equipped on par with 2LT trim, and that means Chevrolet MyLink, heated front seats, remote vehicle start, and 17-inch wheels are all standard. Outside design follows that of the Cruise Eco with an aero performance package that includes lower front grille air shutters, mid-body aero panels, and a deck lid mounted spoiler. As for the all-important government fuel economy ratings, the cruise diesel comes in at 27 city, 46 highway, and 33 combined. We averaged a good 36.1. The energy impact score is decent at 11.6 barrels of annual oil consumption with CO2 emissions of 5.1 tons. The cruise's highway MPG rating actually beats the Jetta's 42 miles per gallon, but the Jetta's city and combined numbers are both better. And for further tricky comparisons, the cruise Eco gas model does almost as well as the diesel at 26 city, 39 highway, and 31 combined. But its very tall gearing makes the driving experience far less rewarding. Factor in the cruise diesel's large 15.6-gallon fuel tank, and you can get 700 miles out of a tank. 
But then there's the price premium to be considered, with the cruise diesel starting at $25,695. That's $2,390 over a similarly equipped Cruise 2LT and $3,840 over a Cruise Eco. So who will buy it? Well, probably those looking for a way to stretch their fuel economy dollar without the complexity of a hybrid and prefer a domestic brand. So we doubt the 2014 Chevrolet Cruze diesel will be a big seller. Still, we're quite impressed with it. A solid diesel car is long overdue from a Detroit brand. Now what we'd really like to see is Chevy expand diesels to the freshened Malibu. That would be groundbreaking and signal that this time GM diesel cars are here to stay.